opponent, competition 9mm 110 grain through a 4.5 inch SAR B6 full size barrel. Well, that was interesting. Based on earlier testing, I thought that would have done better. Um, it actually blew apart the first jug, went through the second jug, out the back, bounced onto the pretzel container. I've already taped that back up because I want to try another test on the side of that container. Uh, and came back into the second jug. So really, it didn't even penetrate the third jug. So... Um, yeah, we're going to see what the, how the expansion was. I'm expecting pretty decent expansion, but that penetration is really short. All right, here we go. Yeah, pretty good expansion. But not much penetration on this one. So there you go. There's the Koenig 110... Um, competition, this was with a uh, full-size barrel, made it through two jugs, bounced off the third and back into the second, so very short penetration. Uh, pretty good expansion, but uh, I don't think that I would carry that, uh, especially not in a full-size, uh, just not enough penetration there. Okay, uh, Koenig competition, 110 green 9 millimeter. Uh, we use the 4.5 inch SAR B6 full size at the range. Uh, as you saw, it went through two milk jugs, bounced off of my uh, third container and back into the second container. So, pretty shallow uh, penetration overall. Uh, did expand pretty good though. Uh, so, we'll check out the expansion here, here in a second. We'll check out weight retention as well. Again, 110 grains. I got 106, so we'll check that there, so get 106 out of the 110, that's what we had left there, so we'll go ahead and we'll measure this up here and see what we got for expansion, again, uh, pretty good expansion overall here, so we had... Zero point five five zero point five two in this way we had zero point five four. So pretty good expansion on that. Again, you can see how those pedals push back. This was, again, the competition loading. So uh, we had good expansion, just not very good penetration with the full-size auto. Okay, we got the Koenig 110 green competition 9mm, I guess the wrap-up here. Um, we measured this through a 3.1 inch Sky DVG-1. Penetration depth on that was into the fourth water jug through a heavy clothing barrier. This is what that one looked like through four. So we had some minor to moderate uh, expansion on that one. Uh, through, through a 3.7 inch uh, SIG uh, 365XL. We got it into the uh, the third jug. It punctured the fourth, so it went all the way to the back of the third jug and punctured the fourth, but bounced back into the third. And uh, this was the penetration. This was the expansion on that one. So again, a little bit deeper, uh, a little bit wider expansion. Pedals peel back a little bit further. So that was that one. And then the last test I did was with a four and a half inch. Uh, SAR B6 full size um, and that went through two jugs uh, and bounced 
off the third and back into the second. So not nearly as much penetration on that one. Uh, but uh, overall, I think it had quite a bit more um, expansion on that one. So a lot more energy uh, dump, initial energy dump on that one. And that's what this one looks like. So here's the three side by side. Again, this one here is 3.1 inch, 3.7 inch, 4.5 inch barrel. That's the expansion on that. And uh, penetration. So, um, again, as far as for self defense applications, uh, there are better choices. Um, for a budget round, again, this worked out to about 42 cents a round delivered. Um, total price, uh, right now it's still available at Optics Planet for $19.99 a box. Or anything over $49 at their site is free shipping plus your, your tax. So, if you ordered, for instance, if you ordered three boxes or two of these and one box of the defense rounds as you've seen in my other tests that would get you free shipping um, and they're not too bad uh, to plink with and uh, I think for, for backup or for low cost defense rounds uh, better than an FMJ especially in a concealed carry application where you don't have as much expansion but you get the better penetration um, I wouldn't carry this in the say a full-size carry gun um, because again you're not getting that penetration but for a, a subcompact, uh, I think it's a, a definitely a viable option. Uh, as I said before, I, I think I said that before in the videos, kind of looks like the expansion of like an XTP round. So, and then those are, again, a lot more expensive. 60, 70, 80 cents a round you're going to pay there, whereas these are 42 cents. So, from a, from a cost standpoint, uh, I think it's a decent option. Are there better options? Sure, especially if you find good sales and whatnot. Uh, but again, there's my overall review. Um... And for this for this particular round, it seems like the shorter the barrel, probably the better, um, which is maybe counterintuitive, but uh, that's kind of what the results show. Um, anyways, uh, stay tuned. I do have gel on the way. It should be actually delivered tomorrow. Um, so I'm hoping that, uh, or excuse me, uh, yeah, delivered tomorrow. So hopefully starting next week, um, I may be able to do some gel testing. So we'll see how that, that plays out. I've got uh, a couple other tests started that I need to finish, so uh, those will be coming up here shortly as well. Uh, stay tuned and uh, keep watching. Take, thanks.